Hi, friends. Sorry, I'm a couple minutes late. <laughs> I was working on a puzzle in the kitchen and listening to an audiobook and lost track of time. <laughs> so here we are. Hi. Hello. Hello. It's good to be here with you. It's been a couple weeks. I did not even pick an ambient room. I just, yeah, it's been a busy day, but I just sat down to listen to an audiobook for a little bit and start sorting a new puzzle. Um, as you can see on the screen, I am listening to America's First Daughter. I need to move the bookmark to where I'm at, but that's what I'm listening to tonight. And I might pick up this one, a five-star prediction to read in print a little bit too. So two historical fiction right now. I just a couple, well, like yesterday and the day before and the day, like the last couple days, I was listening to some Catherine Center books. I listened to Hello Stranger, which I really liked. And then The Rom-Commers is her upcoming release. Comes out sometime this spring. I forget exactly when. And I loved The Rom-Commers. I, re I really like Catherine Center. So yeah, that is the rundown of my current reads. How is everybody doing? How is everybody doing tonight? What are you reading? What are you up to? Hi, Victoria and Kathleen and Mary Lou. Amy. Death of the Spring Fling. On the way home, I'm listening to Billy and the Great Adventure. Fun. Hi, Wendy. Reading Yumi and the Nightmare Painter. After my husband and I watched an episode of Under the Banner of Heaven. Oh, my word. I forgot. I need to finish that show, Under the Banner of Heaven. I've watched a couple episodes of it or like the first two or three, but I, I never went back and finished it. So I read the book and then just never, never finished. <laughs> Hi, Vaughn. Reading Cold Clay. Yay. That's coming up for me later this month. I'm excited for it. I'm glad to hear you're enjoying it. Close to Death by Anthony Horowitz on Kindle through NetGalley. Nice. Hey, Emily, hoping to get some Oathbringer, Raging Headache. Oh, no. That is no fun. No fun. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Laura. Happy Sunday to you. Reading Belladonna by Adeline Grace. 235 out of 408. Nice. You're more than halfway. Good job. <laughs> Just Haven't Met You Yet by Sophie Cousins. That was a fun read. I, didn't, I don't think it, honestly, I don't remember it. <laughs> But I remember it being kind of enjoyable, right? I think. <laughs> I don't remember disliking it, so that's nice. The Women. Oh, man, I can't wait to read The Women. Going to be reading Part of Your World. Love. I want to I want to go back and read some of Abby's backlist. Because I've only read Part of Your World and Yours Truly. Those are the only two books by her that I have read. So I have quite a few of hers on my shelf. I need to go back and read those ones. The Last Letter by Rebecca Yaros or The Teacher. Fun. Hi, Nicole. No idea what to read. Probably work on an arc from Matt Galley. Yeah, one of my um, goals for this week is to get some reviews written on Matt Galley. I think I have three or four now books that I've finished but haven't gone on to review. So that's one of my, one of my priorities for this upcoming week. Get caught up. The Last Devil to Die. Fun. Hi, Becky. Hi, Kathleen. Oh, no. Baking soda bath time and sprints. Oh, no. Poor girl. That does not sound fun at all. Oh, man. Poor girl. And poor mama. <laughs> hey, Linz. I love you, friend. Andy, we're glad to have you. Breaking my fast and I'll be right back. <laughs> 3,000 piece puzzle. That's amazing. I don't have anywhere that would be big enough to even do a 3,000 piece. My kitchen table fits a 2,000 piece perfectly. <laughs> I've only done one uh, and it was, it was massive. Hi, Cheryl. Reading The Dead Guy Next Door by Lucy Score. Yay for sprints. Just finished Annette Gale. I need to decide what to read next. A romance or a cozy mystery? What was the one that you just finished? I would say go for something that is different. <laughs> Empire of the Vampire. Fun. Thank you. Um, this is a new 
This is a new one that I just got from Love in Faith. They have deals all the time and now I'm on their mailing list so I get them and I'm such a sucker. I think I've bought four recently, but this is one of the newer ones. I like it because it's so light. So this is definitely one that I will wear like when I go to Nicaragua because it's so like it's a dark color, but it's really lightweight and it's like comfortable and V-neck and I love a V-neck. So yeah, I'm I'm a fan of love in love and faith, I think is the name of the company. Some of them are super cutesy, like colorful cutesy. And I don't really care for some of those, but there's a few on there that I really like. I'm going to start an arc of North Woods by Amy Peace to get it off my neck, Kelly, and satisfy this month's buzzword. Yeah, I, um, I started, I found my journal. I hadn't, I was gonna, um, yeah, I was looking for this the other day and I looked all over and I couldn't find it, but I did find it. And I <laughs> went in to kind of catch up with where I'm at so far in this quarter. Here's my buzzword challenge. I made the page and I never wrote in the prompts. So <laughs> I don't know how well I'm doing in that, but I'll catch up at some point. Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. That is a mind bendy one, Jenny. I hope you enjoy it. Reading Wonka today. Nice. <gasps> Sherry, it's so good. I loved the Frozen River. Hello, Stranger 2. Really enjoyed it. Love that. Yeah, she just, Catherine Center just does this, such a good job with, with rom com, romance, where there's just deeper stuff going on as well. But you also laugh and you also just fall in love with the characters. Yeah, I really love, I really love her. The rom comers. Yay, I listened to it from NetGalley to Patricia. I really enjoyed it. Here for it. Here we are, Denise, reading 11, 22, 63. It is so good. It's huge. Now, I don't love some of the language, but it's Stephen King, so I kind of expect that. And he uses the word obdurate in that book in particular so many times. <laughs> it's one of, now I've said it and now you're going to hear it because <laughs> it's just one of those things that once you notice it, you're like, oh my word, he said that again. He's using that word again. I don't think I've ever heard it anywhere else. I had to look it up at one point. Like, can't you use obstinate or stubborn? I don't know. I feel like there are other words. Use some synonyms. <laughs> Find a thesaurus. <laughs> Let me tell Stephen King how to write. <laughs> how to solve your own murder and own your past, save your future. Oh, cool. The Waterkeeper. I'm going to start that later this week, I think. I'm trying to finish a couple others first. Hi, Nicole. Yay for joining a reading sprint for the first time. I am. Um, yeah, we just chat for a little bit and then we'll read for a little bit and repeat. I, if you do sprints with other people, my sprints are usually on the shorter side. I know some people do like 35, 40, 45 an hour. I do not. <laughs> we are usually 25 to 30 minutes, occasionally a little shorter as well. I used to only do like 15, 20. But now we do like 25-ish is my normal. Yeah, Catherine, Catherine Center is my, my friend. <laughs> Hannah, resetting for the week ahead and then reading Belladonna. You are not alone. Someone else is reading Belladonna as well. Looking forward to getting some reading done. I love it, Brandy. That's why we're here. Two books you're hoping to finish. Good luck. Currently listening to Happiness for, Gen for Beginners. I really enjoyed that one and the... Um, adaptation. I thought it was a fun adaptation. Reading Letters from Sky by Jessica Brockmull. Oh, how are you liking Letters from Sky? That's on. That's one that's been on my TBR on my shelves for a really long time. <laughs> the Rosie Project. Love the backlist. Got a few Nat Galley arcs and listening to Monsters of Bookhaven. Deciding what you want to read tonight. That is always the fun of it. Listening to Troubled Blood, but I want to start a physical read. Hi, Judy. Three-fourths of the, the way through Raven Song by TJ Klune. No love. Yay for Anne! I love Anne so much. Jamie, I hope you're loving it. <laughs> the Wife Between Us. Hi, Monica. How yes. <laughs> That's a repeat comment there. Work on my Bible study for the first sprint, and then I'll read Anne's House of Dreams. Yay for more Anne. Oh, man, that makes my Anne heart happy. Royal Target by Tracy Hunter Abramson. Hi, Patrice. Reading Caper Cold Art number two. 
Assassin's Fate. The last book of the Elderlings. Oh my word. How do you feel about wrapping up that big old series? <laughs> 16 books, I think, altogether, right? The Girl in the Mirror. Hi, Amy. Glad to have you here. The Kitchen Front by Jennifer Ryan. The audiobook, The Summer Book by Tove Johns. Jansen. Nice. Reading Master Slave Husband Wife. Love that, Stacy. I don't even know. Is that Master Slave Husband Wife? I'm not sure what that one is. Night War. I was hoping to read that one early because it was on my March TBR and I just never got to it because I have to read it on like the NetGalley app, which means I have to read it on my phone. And I just haven't done that in a really long time. Because it's 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 one that you couldn't download to your Kindle, I don't think. Setting Free the Kites, Coming of Age Story. Nice, Suzanne. Hi. Hi, Allie. Finley Donovan rolls the dice. Hi, Dolores. Yay, made it. Reading Everyone Here is Lying. That is all over the place these days. You need a break from anxiety. Yikes. Oh, no. I hope the book helps. <laughs> Oh, another and reader. That makes me so happy. Hi, Cassie. The Fury and a Room with a View. Very cool. I've heard such mixed things about the Fury. I really did not like the Maidens, but I, I enjoyed the Silent Patient. So I'm very curious. Maybe someday I'll pick up the Fury, but I am not very, not very eager to do it. The Bad Ship and Murder, She Wrote book and a Murder, She Wrote book. Cool, Jeanette. S Listen, Emily, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. <sighs> Finished this morning. I know you're not a fan of Catherine Zender, Emily, in general. Just finished The Bodyguard, five stars, now halfway through The Mystery of Mrs. Christie. Oh, good. She's not my favorite, <laughs> Marie Benedict. I've actually, what did we say? Like broke up with her? <laughs> I'm not going to read any more of her books. Okay. Hello. Same. The Rule Book and It's. <laughs> Yay for Sarah Adams. I love Sarah Adams. That's her newest one, right? The Rule Book. I'm pretty sure. It's sequel-ish companion to the, the cheat sheet. I think that's the one. So far, so good. Love. Agree with the language and Stephen King. Yes, to it. It's crazy. <laughs> what a monumental. Get a book out into the world. Yay. Exactly. Hi. Welcome. Hi, Catherine. Finished an audiobook and a Kindle book. I need to review them on Goodreads and start a new one. The Finders Keepers Library. Oh, fun. That was one of my anticipated reads for the spring. So let me know how you like it. <laughs> the cover is so cute. Very kind of bright and summery, springy. I love it. Trying to finish the Blackbird Girls. Loving it, but the physical books have been slower. Oh, same. <laughs> same. I don't know what I would do without audiobooks. I would read like three books a month. <laughs> if that. I'm from Wisconsin. Okay. Yay for Anne. Playing with my cats and reading The Rose Code. Hi, Jeannie. Just finished Ordinary Grace. That was a good one. It's starting Boys in the Boat. Michelle, I need to respond to your boxer. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. Sorry. I'll do that tonight. <laughs> reading Prince Caspian. Oh, fun. Narnia. Going to Narnia. Hello, Sue. Uh, uh, um, reading three books and listening to one. I love the multitasking. El Capone does my shirts. It's so good. The Waterkeeper listening to 13 going on 30 in the background. Totally normal. I have a problem of when there's a show, like something visually in front of me, I cannot read at the same time. So I commend you for being able to do that. <laughs> Really liked The Silent Patient, but did not like The Fury. Okay. Well. Okay. Yes, yeah, send me a boxer. Emily, I'm here for it. And books are great for spring. Yes, they are. 
for really, you can make a case for any season, but in particular, fall and spring, for sure. Next from the cheat sheet. Okay, perfect. Yes, I did too. That was my first, the cheat sheet was my first Sarah Adams. And I went down, I read like four or five, even her Regency ones, Takana Gentleman. And I forget what the other one is. There's a, a little duology that is historical romance. And I enjoyed those two. Laugh out loud. Yeah, all the feels. I'll be doing my meal prep for the week. Trying to sneak some of Macbeth. Wow. Angela, I love that for you. <laughs> Not for me, but for you. <laughs> I won the Fury in a giveaway and it never arrived. Yeah. So many mixed reviews. I don't know how I would, if I will read it. I don't know. Master Slave Husband Wife is a true story of two slaves, husband and wife. The husband was able to pass as a white man. Okay. They escaped the South as masters. Wow. That sounds like a really um, like heavy and emotional read. Finding Langston is so good. That little series, middle grade books. Yeah, it's, it's wonderful. And you need to read the next one now, Lindsay. Leaving Lyman and Being Clem. Oh, they're so good. So good. Did not like the Fury or the Maidens. I, I don't know. It's hard to tell you because I didn't like the Maidens either. The Silent Patient is very different. I don't know. Maybe. It's quick. They're quick reads. It's not going to take you long. I need to bust Assassin's Fade out quick. It's a library book and I did not start it right when I got it. Oh man, get to it. It's long. They're long ones. They're long. <laughs> My, I would like to start the, the, I'm on the ship ones, Mad Ship trilogy. The second, I've only done the first one, the first trilogy. So I'm just nervous because I don't really typically like boat books, but I don't want to stop reading Robin Hobb, even though it's been over a year. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and jump into a sprint. It's 7.50, so let's go till quarter after. Da -da -da -da. And I will pick, I got to go find a um, an ambient room. So let's read until quarter after. We'll do a 25-minute little starter sprint, and I'll see you back here in a bit.
eight. All right. Sorry about that. <laughs> Hello. Come on back. I, um, <clears throat> how far did I get? I don't know how far I got, but I'm about 140, 150 pages into this book. It's a long one. The audiobook I think is 19 hours. Good gracious. No, maybe even more than that. How long is it? I have 18 hours still to go and I've listened to five hours and 20 minutes. Holy moly. This is a long book. <laughs> it's been a while since I've read such a long book. Yeah, it's like five, almost 600 pages. Five, I don't know, that's author's notes. 580. That's a long one. But it's good. It's interesting. Thomas Jefferson was quite a character. Good grief. How did everybody else do? Um, here's where we, oh, Erin said, Live Ship Traders is the best trilogy in your opinion. Okay, good to know. <laughs> Recovering from being attacked and bit by a dog. Oh my word, Anne. I think that is like one of my biggest fears. <laughs> I'm not like not being a dog person. Every time there's one house, when I go for a walk in my neighborhood, there's one house that has, I don't even know what kind of a dog, but he's big and he's scary. And he's on his chain and he pulls it to that chain right to the end when people walk past. And I'm constantly terrified when I walk past that house that the dog is going to be out, number one, and then he's going to break off his chain and come attack me. Oh, I'm so sorry that that happened to you. I hope that you're able to relax this evening. Yikes. Hi, Rebecca. Reading A Girl of the Limber Lost. I don't know if I've ever read that. I might like it. Okay, I love live ship, but I adore a character we meet in Fool's Assassin. Hi, Shayna. Watching a ghost tube live stream. I just had to see how it ended. Oh, my word. I love that. <laughs> Seven year slip before book club on Tuesday. I'm gonna start reading Twilight. Oh, my word. I hope it gets you out of your funk as well. <laughs> Just try anything and pray it works. Slumps are no fun. Hi, Jamie. So glad you're doing sprints tonight. Exactly what I need for a crazy week. Reading The Berlin Letters by Catherine Ray. Is that, that's her newest, isn't it? When did that come out? Somehow I missed, missed that. I like Catherine Ray. Last week was my crazy week because my little dude, usually I am I have like the best schedule and I don't start work on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday until noon, which is nice because in the mornings I have time to do YouTube stuff, edit, comments, filming, all that stuff and like household stuff. But this past week he was on spring break. So I worked every single day, all day long. <laughs> I'm so out of shape of having a full-time schedule and he's three and a half and doesn't take a nap. And so it was a nine hour day with no breaks, really, with a three year old with a lot of energy. So they were by Friday night, I was toast. I was exhausted. So back to regular schedule this week. Thank God. <laughs> Reading the women. Yay. I haven't read one book this year. Oh, man, Heather, I'm so sorry. That's a stinky slump. <laughs> Just either like lean into it and just watch some good TV, watch watch good show, listen to a good uh, podcast, try a different format. I don't know. Reread an old favorite. There's so many good. Read a graphic novel. <laughs> and I agree. Don't be too hard on yourself. Reading is for fun. And if you're in a season where you're not wanting that to be your fun, then that's okay too. But if you're wanting it, you can't get there. That's frustrating. Yeah, I agree. Hope it breaks your slump. Still trying to get the kids to bed. Reading a million to one. Becca. Hello, Emily. Jane read 8%. Got to 30% of death on the spring 
at the spring fling. Did you get home safe, Amy? <laughs> or are you still driving? Maybe on page 112 out of 1,233. <laughs> oh man, 81% read. You were at 15. So you read 15%. Perfect. You doubled what you've been reading. Read to page 13 in Finley. Reading books and butchery, a cozy mystery. Oof. Yeah, that's frustrating. Info dumps are not my fave. <laughs> Kept wanting your snack. Yay for finishing one of your books, Brandy. Good job. Listen to some of one book and then got 50 pages read in the print book you're reading. Love it. Distractions are life. <laughs> It happens. Oh, good. I'm glad you enjoy the ambience. Finished Kate Burkholder. I now need light and fluffy. Oh, I, oh goodness. I really enjoy all of her books. <laughs> um, I like, they're all kind of like, from what I understand so far, like almost like duologies as well. Um, I, I like Practice make, practice Makes Perfect and what's the one before that? They all kind of blend together in my mind. I like that duology. I like the cheat sheet was fun. That's where I started. They're all just kind of clean romances. Um, and I don't, I should say not spicy. Like there's no bedroom scenes. Um, I don't particularly love the phrase, the word clean, but you know, like it, people know what that means. There's not a lot of language and there's no bedroom scenes, which is nice. Although I do think the rule book, her newest one is going to have a little bit more spice than some of her, than all of her previous books. Cause all of them are totally free from that, um, graphic stuff. So Jenny read three pages. She's a fun read though. Regardless, listen to two chapters and attempted to clean up your book room. Not going well. <laughs> Sorry. I might have to. Um, go put some dishes away and do some dishes during the next sprint. Get a little finished with end of an uh, end of the weekend stuff. Get ready for the week. Got about 30 more pages read. Had supper, only read a chapter, but should get some more in before needing to get the kids in bed. Great. Finished the dishes. Got one chapter read. Yay. Glad you like the ambient room. <laughs> I mean, I could just change the, the path that I take around the neighborhood. And if the dog is honestly most of the time not out, but I mean, what can they do? He's out on his leash. He's tied up. He's fine. It's me. It's my own problem. <laughs> yeah. There are people there. I know I'm not alone though, but I definitely feel like I'm in the minority sometimes not being a dog person. Made it to 19% of the women. Good. 290 pages down. 559 to go. <laughs> okay, I'm writing it down. Girl, you just seconded it. Seconded it. I'm going to add it to, I'm going to check it on Goodreads. Mark it as to read. Girl of the Limber Lost. It's a, is that a classic? Jean Stratton. Oh, yeah. That looks cute. Oh, no. It came out 2006. That's not a classic. It looks like a classic. Look at it. Or maybe this edition came out in 2006. Published July 19th, 2006. Oh, there's another one. Freckles. Have you guys read Freckles? Because technically Girl of the Limber Lost is a sequel. I don't know. Oh, and it looks like maybe it originally came out in 2004 and 1986 was the first one. I don't know. You guys will have to tell me. <laughs> Letters from Sky is very good. So far on page 87. I love an epistolary novel too, Cheryl. Didn't read anything. Just got the kids to bed and ate. Uh, that is important. What was for dinner? <laughs> I had leftovers today. Not very exciting, but it was delicious because it's HelloFresh meal. 
just joining and reading Dr. No by Ian Fleming. Great to be back after a busy March. Yeah. Welcome back, Karen. Hello. Hello. Read 20 pages. Um, about 30 pages read on chapter 19. I know, Jamie, it's so lovely. Hi, Glenda. Hello, hello. Oh, I'm even more interested now. I gotta find that one. I need Audible. I just find it so difficult. I don't use Audible uh, because you pay per book. I use Libby most often because it's my library and it's free. So if, you're li if your library has access to Hoopla or Libby, that's a place to get free audiobooks. Um, and then I do pay for a monthly subscription to Everand, which used to be Scribd, which you do have more options per month because you just pay one amount per month. I also have Libro FM, uh, because which is more which is more like Audible where you pay per credit. I mean, you pay per book or you get one credit per month and then you can buy extra ones. But I like Libro because I can pick which local or independent bookstore I want to support instead of like Amazon. So I'm supporting my local independent bookstore through Libro FM. One review done, one to go, and then you can read. Love it. Got home safe. Perfect. Joining late, reading, night watching. Hi, Jen. 46 pages left. Yay. Oh, man. Lindsay, you're going to finish tonight. Updated my reading journal. I did also look up the buzzword prompts, and then I did fill that in. I didn't go through my Goodreads yet to see if I've completed any of them so far. But. I did get them. I did get them written in, so I can do that. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's a Ray's new release. I think it came out in March. Okay, perfect. I probably will really like it. It's historical fiction, and Catherine Ray. I'm. I'm gonna like it. <laughs> Made dinner. What was for dinner? Start a book next sprint. Next spring. Don't wait till next spring, Jen. <laughs> Sixty-eight percent in Anne. Oh, yay! Yeah, they do read easily. I need to I need to bust out words of radiance. Maybe that'll happen this month. I'm already I've already completed two books off of my TBR and I'm in the middle of two more. So, I might I might have a little extra time this month and maybe maybe this is the time to dive into a massive fantasy. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh, when in Rome. Yeah, that's a good one to start. That's the one I was trying to think of. When in Rome and then Practice Makes Perfect is kind of the sequel slash companion. Read them in order, though. When in Rome comes first. Got to do bedtime routine with the kiddo. Good, good night to the kids. <laughs> Changed your sheets. I did that this yesterday morning. <laughs> the hour that changes the world. Ooh. We don't just like, <laughs> we're just afraid. Oh. I am a little bit of both. <laughs> a mastiff jumped out of his owner's van and ran for me two times. Oh my word. No. Mastiffs are huge too. <laughs> no, thank you. It is a classic. Okay. I love dogs. Have five, but a big dog on a chain barking at me. Yes. I cross the street or go a different way. You loved freckles. Okay. That's so fun. I need to read them. You're the only one I've heard making comment about disliking the term clean. And I completely agree. So thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I, I mean, I I use it, but every time I say it, I'm like, that's not really how I want to describe it. <laughs> but a show. Okay. 1909. I did not go deep dive. It must be that edition that I was looking at that was newer. <laughs> HelloFresh leftovers. Yay. I'm having fun with HelloFresh, except I need to pause it for a little bit. Because I get too many. <laughs> I need to lower down to two a, month, two a week. Instead, I only get three a week. But I just don't cook that often. Girls burn brighter. I know starting a quarter of... Oh, I'm now starting a quarter of Wings and Ruin. 
Yikes, the 700 page marathon begins. Good luck, Connie. Good luck. <laughs> okay. Thank you for correcting me. I clearly didn't go deep into looking it up. It was just that edition. Good job getting those reviews done. When in Rome. Um, is that, um, oh my word, Chris and Hannah. I think I have read Homefront. That's Kristen Hannah, right? If you loved the woman, I highly recommend it. I absolutely loved it. I, I mean, I love Kristen Hannah. <laughs> just finished The War That Saved My Life. Oh, my word, Heidi, that's so good. I just found at my library book sale this weekend. I should go find it in the other room. It's so like an old backlist Kimberly Brubaker Bradley that I had never heard of before. I'm like, I couldn't resist because it's only, oh my word, sorry, hold on. Sorry about the bots. It's been a while since I've had one. <laughs> um, I, what was I saying? Kimberly Brubaker Bradley, who wrote The War That Saved My Life. That was my first one I read by her. And I've loved that duology and I loved fighting words and I enjoyed Jefferson Sons. I didn't love it, but um, I have another older one by her. And then I just found this one for 50 cents. I'm going to show it to you later. I'll go get the books that I found um, for my library sale. When, feel free to box for me when you read Words of Radiance, especially when you get to the discussion about boots. Okay. <laughs> Fun. That's how I read Way of Kings. I start a week before the end of the month and finish at the beginning of the next. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I have read Homefront. Um, I Honestly, I don't remember it because it was a really long time ago. But I'm sure it made me cry because every single book that she writes makes me cry. I do love her. I think The Nightingale was my first and then Winter Garden. But I've read quite a few, quite a few of her books. But I have quite a few more that I still want to read too. Fish and chips were for dinner. Thankful for the air fryer. I warmed up my leftovers in the air fryer and it was delicious. Mine was like a panko barbecue crusted chicken with um, some of the barbecue seasoning on diced like roasted potatoes and broccoli, butter broccoli, but I don't like steamed broccoli. So I roasted my broccoli anyway. I did put the broccoli in the air fryer and I shouldn't have because it basically crisped up to nothing. <laughs> it was like just crumbly, <laughs> but I do love my air fryer. Definitely see why you like it if you love the woman. Okay, cool. Fun connection. Air fryer is a godsend. I don't use mine often enough, but I do enjoy it. All right, it's 8.35 almost. Let's go ahead and read until the top of the hour. This. Um... Yeah, we'll get into dive into another sprint. Thanks for popping in. Have a great night. Yeah, get back to get back to reading. Oh man, it's 1:35 a.m. Yeah, good night. Go to bed. <laughs> All right. I'm still gonna stick with my audiobook because I am gonna go into the kitchen and put some things away and do up a couple dishes. So I'm gonna keep listening to America's First Daughter. Where'd my headphone go? All right, I'll see you back here in a little bit.
Right. Pause this. How did everyone do that sprint? I got dishes put away and dishes washed. And I like splattered all the way up onto my arm. <laughs> Made a mess, but I got the dishes done. I think all of them done, except for the air fryer. I still need to wash that, wipe that out. But, um, and I read, I'm two chapters farther in America's First Daughter. So this is a very productive sprint for me. I think I might switch. I might get to the end of this current chapter and then switch to my print book and kind of like settle in for the rest of the night. Um, yeah, I think I, I need a little change of pace. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to switch because the other one is also, this is the one I'm reading in print. I'm only like four or five pages in, but it's also historical. I might, I might put this one down for a bit instead of doing two historical books at the same time and pick up The Maid or Cold Clay. Those are the two mysteries on my pile for this month. So which one should I do? Cold Clay or The Maid? Both are kind of lighthearted mysteries. Not quite cozies, but like kind of, kind of cozy. I think, yeah, I need to pick up one of those. So let me know which one you think I should do. Hi, Victoria. <laughs> Reading Anastasia. No, not that story. <laughs> Nonfiction, the first in a series. Okay. Girl of the Limber Lost is so good. Oh man, I need to read it. Switched to Ace of Spades. Book was too freaky. <laughs> read 8% in a million to one. Three chapters. Amazing. Good job, everybody. Back from doing bedtime. Perfect timing. 12 more pages in Finley Donovan. Love that. Whoa. It just like jumped ahead and the kids are asleep. Oh my word, Becca. I love, I love your unabashed love for a bowl of ice cream at night. <laughs> I love every time in your vlogs, you're like, we're having ice cream. I'm like, oh my word. I just started a 100 days of no sweets challenge. So no ice cream for me until July. But every time I'm just like living vicariously through your love of ice cream. <laughs> Reading Expiration Dates by Rebecca Searle. Nice. 10% more completed. Good job, Cassie. Really enjoying the fury. Okay, good. A lot of detail and scene building. Fun. DNF'd your first book. Started another cozy mystery. I'm glad because you were clearly not liking that first one. So far, this one is much better. Good, good, good. I'm glad. Also got the dishes done. Feels good to have a clean kitchen. I don't know about a clean kitchen. I, I still have quite a bit of like stuff to kind of declutter and counters to wipe down and stuff, but the dishes are done. So the rest I can do tomorrow. Decided to DNF the other book I was reading, Heart's Blood. Okay. Yeah. If you've been struggling and trying for weeks, that's probably a sign that it's a not for now book. Maybe not ever, but like not for now. It's always slow going at the beginning and you annotate. Oh man. Progress is progress. 87% got ready for bed. Love it. Finished a coloring page and lasagna is ready. Yum. Oh my word. I love lasagna so much. <laughs> ready to start reading now. Perfect. Hi, Jill. Been a super productive day. Five loads of laundry, two meals made and cookies baked. Love that for you. Finished searching for Sylvie Lee on audio and now sitting down to read with your eyes. I love it. 26 pages left. Yay, Kelly. It's so fun to be like that close to the end. Got your PJs on, read 20 pages. Need to start a load of laundry still tonight. Oh, I forgot to bring the bag of books in here. I might go grab that in a second. Um, I have laundry to put away. I might do that next sprint while I finish this chapter. I folded the two loads that I did this weekend, but I have not put them away. And they're on my bed, so <laughs> I have to put them away. Okay, cold clay. Vote for that. 61 of the women go so far so good. Nice. The maid, a vote for that. <laughs> Read a few chapters. Next one will be devoted to the kids' bath time. And pick the maid. Loved the maid. I'm reading where they found her by Kimberly McCrate. Real mystery as to who done it. Fun. I'm yeah, I'm in a mystery. 
mood. So I'm glad to pick another one up. I did read Death of Death on the Nile already this month, and I really did not like the narrator. I need to look up if Agatha Christie, the Poirot books all have the same narrator because I did not like the narrator <laughs> at all, at all, at all. So the book took me like four or five days to read because I just was kind of dreading picking up. I should have just switched to reading it in print, but <laughs> totally got into your book and didn't realize the time. Just after six here, so I'll figure something out for dinner. Perfect. The Maid, Misfit, Found Family. Oh, I love it. Finally finished the chapter you were on. Good. No reading, just eating. What was for dinner, Jeanette? Finished my second review. Hopefully I'll get to read now. You could do it, Catherine. The Maid, The Maid, The Maid. So far, I think I'm reading The Maid. <laughs> I love ice cream at night. Yeah, um, my stomach doesn't really like ice cream ever, but sometimes I eat it anyway just because I love it. <laughs> I never was lactose intolerant as a kid. I never had any kind of milk allergy, whatever. I think we used to call it an allergy. My brother was always allergic to milk when we were growing up. I never was, but now in the, within the last, I don't know, five or six years, I just realized when I have a bowl of cereal, my stomach hurts. When I eat a bowl of ice cream, my stomach hurts. So yeah, I think I've never been officially diagnosed as lactose intolerant, but, but I can tell you... <laughs> through experience. 13 more pages. It doesn't work with like yogurt doesn't affect me. Cheese is fine. Well, a lot of cheese. Yeah. I don't care though sometimes because I still love it. Reading the Enchanted April and loving it. Good. I'm glad Angela. 12 more pages down in the guest list. Oh my word, Nicole. I hated every character in that book. <laughs> I was like, I don't even care who died. I want them all <laughs> They all could have gone. Yeah, because I think that's one where you don't even know who the victim is. And you don't know who done it. So you're trying to figure out both things. And I didn't like anybody. They were the characters in that book were incredibly frustrating to me. <laughs> Chatted with a friend. Hey, that's, that's good. That's productive. Good for your soul. Love ice cream, any frozen dessert with dairy or non dairy, but limit overexposure to months with the letter J or G. January. So none in February, March, April, May. So you could have them in January, August, July, and June. That's funny. <laughs> the summer and January. Loved the maid. I know. Boo. I don't think I could listen to Poirot books unless David, who's highly influenced by the old Masterpiece Theater episodes. Love that. That's a good idea. It's just so expensive. <laughs> Ugh, I don't know. I probably should do better at like trying to find other ways to eat it in the summertime. But for now, I don't have to worry about it because I am done with sweets until July 7th, my birthday, 100 days. It's kind of a random challenge that I'm like, I'm just going to do this. Your body chemistry changes every seven years and only about 11% of the population doesn't have an issue with lactose. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Anyone read The Thousandth Floor? Um, I DNF'd that a long time ago. The first one. So I don't know. It just wasn't for me at the time, but I just never cared to continue. Get some. Yeah, I need to try. I need to try. Oh, yum. That sounds like a good dinner. If it wasn't for book club. <laughs> yeah, bummer. <laughs> it, maybe it'll have good discussion though. All right. I'm going to, um, now I guess I'll wait until the next sprint to go get the books. No, I'm going to go get them. Hold. <laughs> I should have brought them in. They're just in a big bag in the other room. I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, this is my bag of books that I got from the library book sale. Some of them I won't have in a haul because I got them for my little dude. But I think 
most of them out i will have in a haul eventually too so you guys are getting a sneak peek sneak peek but this is the kimberly brubaker bradley book i found halfway sky by kbb i love it so like uh 1994 is the background photo i love it when was this actually published i never heard of it copyright 2002 so it's early 2000s but it's a hiking book it has a map appalachian trail situation looks like yeah so it should be fun these are the two books i got for my little dude poem mobile mobiles crazy car poems he we love poetry he loves rhyming and he loves cars trucks anything along those lines so this is going to be fun uh it's a fun it'll be a fun one to read yeah and the, the pictures are just really fun and cute too and all the kids books were only 50 cents and then i'm mighty we've read all these i'm brave i'm i'm um i'm fast i'm strong by Kate and Jim McMullen. So this is the tugboat one. I'm mighty. Couldn't resist that. Then for myself, I got these two. Mercy Suarez Can't Dance, which is the sequel to, I think it's a sequel. Mercy Suarez Changes Gears. I don't know if this is book two. I think there are three now. Mercy Suarez Can't Dance. I really enjoyed the first one. So I'm looking forward to that. And Genesis Begins Again. I need to get these library like plastic bindings off but hopefully they come off pretty easy. Genesis Begins Again is on my want to read list on Goodreads by Alicia, Alicia or Alicia D. Williams. Heard good things about that one. I never knew that, that this existed. The Christmas Pig by JK. JKR. Illustrated by Jim Field. It's just a Christmas story, but the, the pictures are super cute. Let me see if I can find one. Oh my word. <laughs> it just looks really fun. I didn't know it existed. So 50 cents couldn't resist. This Ryan Groudon, the wild, the walled city. I really liked Wolf by Wolf and Blood for Blood by her, but never read this one. And then she has two new ones coming out very soon. So um, I wanted to get her older one as well. Only two, only two more. I just, this, I couldn't resist this cover. Summer Hours at the Robber's Library by Sue Helpern. I didn't even read what it's about, but it has a library card and the bookshelves in the background. So I just grabbed that. These um, trade, all the paperbacks were a dollar. So that was only a dollar. And then this one was three, but I am so excited for this. So Loving versus Virginia. This is a nonfiction. Um, it says a documentary novel of the landmark civil rights case. Um, and it is told in verse and there are, there are photographs and illustrations and like, this is just a stunning, let me see if I can find a, yeah, some illustrations, but there are also photographs. I think I saw mixed in. Yeah. So I'm just, I couldn't believe they had this. And it's three dollars. I'm so excited to add that to my nonfiction shelf. Hopefully, I can get the plastic off nicely. But I'm excited. Yeah. So it was. I feel like I showed some restraint. I only spent, I think, nine dollars. Oh, and I bought three books that I already brought to church for the nursery at church. I was in there helping out um, on Saturday night, right before Easter, and the. <laughs> the book situation in the nursery was really sad. I threw three away. They were like waterlogged and gross. I'm like, we need some better Christian Jesus board books in here. So I found a couple and brought them to church this morning. So <laughs> all of that, three of those, plus the two for my little dude, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 books for $9. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. So there you go. My little, <laughs> my little book haul. Um, and now where did I leave off? Uh, I read another chapter. I'm on chapter seven of The Secret by Lee Child and Andrew Child. It's a Jack Reacher book. Nice. Isn't that a super long series? 
I need to do the 100 days of no sweets too. Been thinking about doing that. I, it's a good challenge. I, I call it 100 days of no sugar, but I'm not like checking recipes or like being real strict about carbs or whatever. I'm still having fruit, but I'm just cutting out mainly like desserty kind of things, chocolate, um, any kind of um, ice cream, all that kind of stuff, sweets. So 100 days of no, no sweets. I have a dairy intolerance and love Briar's lactose free ice cream. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Sing us a song when you have to leave. <laughs> uh, still working on Mona Lisa Vanishes and almost done with A Wrinkle in Time. Fun, Christy. A Wrinkle in Time is so weird. <laughs> it's so weird. The other books are on Libby. Okay. Got a bunch of books for my daughter and I ate and I... Oh, for my daughter and I at a church room. Sorry, I couldn't read that. Fun. I love a good... I love a good rummage sale. <laughs> woot woot. I know. Good. I found some good stuff. I'm excited. And Hugh Fraser starred as Poirot and his sidekick. I love listening to their narrations. Fun. I don't know who the narrator was of the one that I listened to, but I did not like it. Poem Mobiles is just delightful. I'm excited to bring it this week to show him. You're building an intolerance. <laughs> Now, if I eat dairy, I have excruciating stomach pain and throw up. Oh, my word. Enjoy it while you can. Oh, no. Oh, no. Richard Armitage would be, I would be happy to listen to Richard, Richard Armitage. I'm pretty sure that's not who it was. This guy, it was weird. It was like, like a little too canned sounding. I don't know if that's the right word. I can't. It just, he was too close to the mic. I didn't like some of the voices that he did for some of the characters. I'm I'm not a fan of French. I I like some accents. French is not one of those accents that I enjoy. So I'm I mean you're kind of I'm stuck with that because it's Paul Rowe and he is French. Um, I don't know, but I I just didn't like this guy's narration. Hello, welcome, welcome. Mac and cheese and cheesecake. Yum. <laughs> I would miss those too. <laughs> Yay. I mean, you just kind of cut the plastic off. I don't know that there's any special way to do it. I, I'm hoping that it comes off pretty easily. We'll see. If you have any tips, Kelly, now that you figured it out, <laughs> let me know if you have any tips. <laughs> Not lactose intolerant. Thank heavens. I usually get my frozen desserts at grocery outlet. Many are non-dairy. I've had chili pepper and chocolate. Ooh. Oh my. <laughs> I don't like spicy in my chocolate. <laughs> I really enjoyed the Christmas pig. Oh, fun. Dollar a bag. An unused. Fun. That was a good deal. I love a dollar bag. You can't resist filling that bag. Richard Armitage, be still my. <laughs> he could read an audiobook and make me happy, right? Hello. I'm going to try to get to 1123. You're someone else is reading that one too tonight. It is a chunker. It's good though. It won't feel like it's as long as it is. Thank you, Katie. That's really nice. I'm lucky to have him too. Although this last week was long. <laughs> we had a couple, we had a couple issues, but he just was tired of being home, I think. And we go out, we go all over. I took him, I mean, I got well over 10,000 steps this week each day that I was with him because I just got to keep him moving because he doesn't have a nap anymore. We still do quiet time, but he is not, he's a very much an only child and not very good at independent play. And why would he? He's always had somebody with him the whole, like his whole life. Um, And so I'm trying to like lengthen the amount of time slowly that he's able to play on his own or read on his own. Um, but it's, it's a work in progress. So we did a lot of walking this week and yeah, he's still, he's, he can be very sweet and very charming and very lovely, but he's still three and a half. So he has his moments, <laughs> lots of big emotions. I told his mom this week, I'm like, um, just so you know, I'm going to win at something every time I'm with him from now on, because he really needs to practice not winning 
because he pitched a full on fit this week the other day. It was like a silly thing, like laying on the floor, kicking his feet and screaming at me. I'm like, dude, this is not happening. Get up on the couch. <laughs> Made him have a little time out. But uh, yeah, just because I said I won. Like cleaning up the rice, like he had spilled some rice out of his little sensory bin. So I was helping him clean it up and everything turns into a contest. But if he does not win, he is not happy about it. I'm like, dude, you have a little sister coming. His mom's having a baby in August. So I'm like, you got to practice not winning. <laughs> Listen to two minutes of the audio of the kind we're killing. Nice. Wrinkling time. Oh, fun. Sue, how do you like the other books? I've never read. I've read Wrinkling Time twice, I think, but I've never fin finished the rest of the series. I need to add that, I think, to my to my series spreadsheet. I might do that during the next sprint. Just listening to my side of the mountain. Um, I, I need to check that while I'm thinking about it. I thought I should check and see if there were sprints. Here we are. Here we are. My sixth grade teacher, Miss Wilson, read it aloud in our class. Fun. I loved those read alouds when I was younger. German, Russian, Jamaican, and East, East Indian accents are my favorite. Nice. I don't know if I have favorites. I'm, I don't know. I was just afraid to try it until I finally just jumped in and did it. Nice. <laughs> Miss Wilson also read A Wrinkle in Time. Um, I... I can look it up who it was. I'm pretty sure I did it. I might have already returned it. Did I return it? Oh no, here it is. It is about. Well, I don't know. I can't find. Oh, guys, the narrator is David Such Suchet, 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 the one that you guys were saying. I did not like him. <laughs> I did not like him at all. What? No, it was, it was one of my least enjoyable audiobooks that I can remember. Man, that's funny because I think some of you guys were saying that you love him. See, everybody has different tastes and we can all still be friends. <laughs> Started it at the end of, oh, my side of the mountain, at the end of middle grade March and just about done. You haven't read enough Poirot yet, or you'd know he's Belgian. Oh, well, <laughs> that's who narrated Murder on the Orient. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, I know, Rainy. I already won. <laughs> Rainy and I read 112263 together. It was a couple years ago now, right? Um, and we just laughed over how many times he used the word obdurate. I've already talked about it. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> I love that you brought that up too. Does your library have passes for local parks and attractions? You can sign out. That's a good idea. Um, I've asked. So I live in the city library system, but there's a county that's like that I actually more often use the county library system and they do not have the passes, but I'm wondering if the city, if Richmond city libraries will, I've never looked into it. Cause yeah, I used to do, when I lived in um, Massachusetts, I used those library passes all the time for different tours. Uh, when people would come to visit, we would go get stuff from the library to like save money on stuff. Yeah. All the time. And it's not something that I ever did since I moved here. So I do need to look into that. Man, libraries are awesome. This today till next Saturday starts library week, national library week. So let I'm glad we're like shouting out some of the awesome things about libraries. But yeah, um, that's that's a good reminder, Christy, to check into that. My the zoo in my area is quite far. So I will probably do that. And it's expensive. I will probably do that with him though over the summer. I might see if there someone can gift him. Uh, his birthday's not till the middle of July. It would be fun if they could get a family pass, like one adult and a kid or something. I don't know, family pass to the zoo. Because I think if you go twice, you make it worthwhile. And we could easily do that. Because the zoo is a lot of fun. Especially, like, he just walks everywhere. So I don't have to bring a stroller or anything. Um, 
but it's just kind of a, a trek <laughs> opposite side of town. I don't believe in letting kids win. I know, right? Me either, but I don't also like the temper tantrums. <laughs> I feel all of this. Oh, he's so sweet sometimes, but then sometimes I'm like, dude, who are he? He's learned how to. He's learned how to spit. <laughs> so this is a new thing. Like when he gets mad at something that I say. Well, he's only done it once. I've seen him like trying to spit, like just outside in general. He must have learned it from his dad or something. Like just spitting, like when he has mucus or whatever. I'm like, that's so gross. Just whatever. But this week, this past week, for the first time, he spit at me or like in my general direction. He doesn't really know how to do it, but he was mad at something that I was telling him. It was after we had just gone on this super long walk. So I know he was tired. And, but I was like, dude, you cannot spit at me. Like, what do you think you're doing? Spitting. Oh my word. <laughs> Finished Mountain in the Sea by Ray Naylor. It's about an octopus. Made you cry three times. Aw. I don't think I've heard that mountain in the sea. Wrinkle in time is weird, but I'm loving it. Finished an episode of Under the Banner of Heaven. So intense. Oh yeah, the book is fantastic. I really like, um, oh man, what's his name? John Krakauer. Well, that's the only one that I've read by him, but I have two others on my shelves that I would really like to read. He's a good nonfiction, very engaging. Like you are caught up in the the drama and the the craziness. Yeah, he's good. It's a good series. I'm not a science fiction person, but the story moves quickly. Okay. I do like sci-fi every once in a while. Otherwise, I'm back and ready to read. Perfect. Let's get to the end of the comments here so we could do another sprint. 112263 is fantastic. I was reading it last time for sprints a couple months ago. I'm glad you're back, Erin. And now you're finishing up another chunk of monk book. <laughs> I love it. Our, our mutual friend by Dickens in book and audio. Woof, that's a long one, 32 hours. You better give up on Poirot if you don't like Suchet. Do you say it Suchet or Suchet? Or what? It, I don't know. Yeah, I probably will not listen to them on audio. I've read her books in print and I think I just need to do that because yeah, I really did not like his narration at all. I think winning depends on the kid. If they're very young, having them lose every time can be disheartening, but false winning can also, yep. He definitely has that overconfidence in very little grace. <laughs> that is definitely the situation we are in. Stormlight audiobooks are like 56 or 55 hours. Yeah, they're super long. I would have them lose every time. I generally don't win every time, but they need to learn how to win and lose. I know. Yeah, we we had lots of good conversations about it. Oh no, wasn't your favorite. <laughs> but you finished. Yay. <laughs> Hi, Kat. Starting Go Eat Worms by R.L. Stein for Old School April. Sounds fun. Never knew libraries had passes till recently, but I just went to the library in the neighboring county to get a card and they had some displayed. Oh, fun. Yeah, I should check the other counties as well. But because I have four, I have, th I have three library cards, the city and two counties. And there's one more county like on the south side that I never really go to. So I don't have a card for down there. But I should, that's where the zoo is and is in the south. So I should, I should look and see. Check those out as well. Those three majors. <laughs> My daughter was younger. We had to practice at gameplay. We always shake hands at the end of the game and say good game to each other. That's a great idea, Kathleen. And we can't just quit the game when you're losing. That is such a good idea. Shake hands and say good game, no matter if you win or lose. I love that. 72 for adult day pass. Oh, the zoo. Yikes. $62 for kids 3 to 11. What? It's a rhino. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Uh, ours is not quite that expensive, not even remotely close, but it still is a lot for, yeah, around here. Suchet. Okay, good. I said it right. Like a sous chef, but Suchet. <laughs> keep resolving to read less books and keep failing. Hey, there you go. That's a good plan. Just stick with the big ones. <laughs> I would not have them lose every time. Gotcha. I'm, I gotcha. I gotcha. All right. Let's go into another sprint. I always lost when playing games with my daughter. I could not beat her at memory ever. <laughs> I even lost Candyland to a stuffed animal. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Like I'm happy to have him win if he actually wins, but he needs to learn how to be a good loser too. So we need to practice that. 
All right. It is 9.30. Oof. We did a lot of chatting that time. Sorry. Let's go ahead and go straight to the hour. So almost a 30 minute. And I'm going to finish this chapter and then switch to, um, and then switch to my print book after my clothes are put away. <laughs> All right. I'll see you back here in a little bit.
All right, all right. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> Come on back, friends. I want to look. This is resting here. How did that sprint go for you? <laughs> I should change my there we go so I did finish a chapter the chapter I was on in America's First Daughter I'm still only like 27% through I've read six hours <laughs> um, but I'm enjoying it I'm enjoying it. So that's good about Patsy, Thomas Jefferson's oldest daughter. And then I, while I listened to that, I put my laundry away in my bedroom, cleaned up a little bit in there. And then I just read the, almost the first chapter of the maid. It's like 18 pages. I should have just came back late because I only have this left to read of the first chapter. Um, She just found a dude dead in the hotel. <laughs> I think I'm going to like that one a lot. Um, and it, yeah, it was a good choice to not read too historical at the same time, but just kind of switch gears a little. Uh, I don't know if I can get the maid on audio. I think I have it on Everand, but not available until the 12th or 13th, whenever my month renews. Um, so yeah. I'll just read it in print. Da, 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 da. People always talk about the terrible twos, but three is much worse. I think you're right. <laughs> I do remember when he turned to like all of a sudden big emotions. Like he just started having these really big emotions. They weren't, he didn't have a terrible twos, but he's not having a terrible threes either. He just has a hard time losing. <laughs> I taught chess and homeschool co-op to first graders. Shake hands and say good game. Some are better at it than others. Yeah. <laughs> Going to bed now. You're probably long gone. Good night, Mary Lou. She's 10 and we still shake hands at the end of games. I love that so much. I'm going to get ready for bed and try to get some sleep. I got about four hours last night. You're probably gone as well. Good night, Emily. Recently listened to Christie's The ABC Murders. It was narrated by Hugh Frazier as the character Captain Hastings. Thought he was a pretty good narrator. Nice. Finished 80% of my reviews. Yay. Good job. Worry about being a nanny because I would be afraid my discipline style wouldn't match with the parents. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's kind of <laughs> something that you just talk about and deal with as it comes up, I guess. I've been with my families. My, I have two different families. So I have a Monday, Wednesday family, and then a Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. So I've been my with my little dude who's now three and a half since he was four months old. And my other family, they have three kids and I have the youngest two, but I had the oldest when she was four months till 18 months before COVID shut everything down. And then now I've been with them again since the middle is two and a half. And I've been with them since she was three months. And then I've been with the little boy. He's one. And I've been with him his whole life. So um, I, I've been with the families for a really long time. And since the babies were babies. So yeah, I've, I've had, <laughs> I've had a little bit of say <laughs> in the discipline a little bit too, just because, I mean, both families were new parents when I started with them. So yeah, I've, I've been able to kind of help and give ideas. I don't have kids of my own, but I've worked with kids a lot. So it's been, it's been fun to kind of grow with the kids and be with the families for so long. Love that you found that KBB book. I can't wait to read it and read more from her. Gave my grandchildren the Christmas pig last Christmas and they enjoyed it so much. Fun. Um, I just looked, it's resting. Oh man, what was it called? Resting area is the channel name. Resting area. I should put a link to it in the description, but maybe I'll do that during the next sprint. 
resting area as the channel. Best line from the Fury so far <laughs> about hell. It's not a burning pit full of fiery torments. In fact, it's, hell is just an absence, a banishment from God's presence. To be removed from him is hell itself. Well, yeah. <laughs> wow. That's quite a statement. And very true. Oh, wow. <laughs> PBS had a Poirot series back in the 80s. Whenever someone called him French, Poirot would get very insulted. Keep that in mind as you read the books and you'll know I was making a joke. I love it. Much better Sprint got through a whole chapter. Love. No reading, but the kids are ready for bed. That's important too. My lips are feeling really chapped all of a sudden. My trusty... Carmex for the win. Oh, stink. I just lost the cap. <laughs> Rolled under. I'll get it later. Time for bed now. Good night, Erin. You're probably gone as well. Oh, no, maybe. Reading the second book in The Maid. I've heard that the second one is really good, too. Some like it better. Some liked the first one better. Um, But I've heard that it's also very fun. Read another three chapters. Amazing, Wendy. Only read a couple of pages, but got ready for bed. That's important. It's 10 o'clock <laughs> for me. Got 20 pages in. It's got your attention. I love it. I love it. I think, Kelsey, are you a Stephen King fan? Or is he kind of like out of your wheelhouse? I mean, I know this 112263 is a little different because it's historical, but because of Stephen King, it does get a little, it gets a little gritty here and there. Um, but I have no desire to read some of his books. But I did really enjoy that one. Just finished, just haven't met you yet and barely started Hamnet. Oh man, you're doing it. I don't know. I, I texted Michelle. I voxered Michelle because I'm reading Hamnet with her this month. So we, I'm waiting to, we're waiting to figure out when we're going to read it. But I'm nervous. I'm so nervous to start a Hamnet. Oh. oh, man. I've made it to chapter 19. I think I might switch it up next sprint. I love reading multiple things at once and being able to kind of switch gears when I need to. Get a little different vibe. 45% through with the Waterkeeper. How are you liking it, Andy? I love hearing you guys read the books that are <laughs> that are all on my agenda for the month as well. Um, and that's Waterkeepers, my Patreon book club book for this month. So there's going to be a bunch of us reading it eventually. Um, Charles Martin, I'm looking forward to reading more from him. Just have the author's note. Oh man, I hope it's a good author's note. I love when a historical fiction has a really good author's note. Although I just read both Catherine Center books. This I read two last week or so far this month. And her author's notes about, about, the importance of romance and why it shouldn't be kind of looked down upon as a genre to read and, and, and the benefits of reading romance. Like they were fantastic author's notes on the audiobook. She read them too. So it wasn't the narrator reading her author's note. She read the author's note. I loved her author's notes. I love most author's notes. I think it adds so much to the story. 2% read, up to 24%. Good. Read another 15 pages. Fabulous. Had to transfer some clothes, do some laundry, hang up a few things. <laughs> Only got to page three. Going to try to read 25 more pages to get to part four and call it a night. Well, we will probably do um, one more, one more reading sprint. Um, the next one will be our last one. So hopefully that will work for you. Had to leave to go deal with yucky stuff. I don't want to deal with it. Missed an hour. Oh, boo. We're not done. We're going to do one more. Everyone here is lying. is a fast read and riveting so far. I love that. Made myself some tea. Grabbed a couple of cookies because I couldn't think of anything for supper. <laughs> oh, man. Cookies and tea? That sounds like a good dinner. Only 26 pages to... Only 26 read. 333 out of 408. Yay. You'll still finish tonight. Love it. Reading Dark Room Etiquette. Okay. Your mo modern day Mary Poppins. I love it. <laughs> it's so much fun. It's so much fun. Got three chapters done and 
gave up cleaning in the book room. <laughs> Loved the maid series. Perfect. Good night, Shayna. Got a bit more red. Thanks for the sprints. Thanks for being here. Outside of your wheelhouse. Okay. And it scared you. I have the only other one that like slightly interests me is Under the Dome. I started watching that series on TV a while ago before it started to get weird. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm not sure if it's going to be too weird for me, but I'm curious a little bit about Under the Dome, but that also is so massive. I read, um, I read it when I was a young, no, not it. I read The Shining. I just saw Christy say The Shining scared her. I read The Shining when I was way too young to be reading The Shining and it scarred me. I don't even, I think I blocked it out of my memory. I just remember my parents were so strict with some things. Like how did they not know that that's what I was reading? Cause it's huge. I remember reading it in the back of a station wagon on the way to a family, like on a way to a vacation, you know, back before seatbelts were a thing. <laughs> like we were laid out. My brother and I were like laid out in the back part of our station wagon had our little beds set up in the car for our long trip. Oh my goodness. And it scarred me. And then in high school, but it must have been ninth grade because it was before my family moved. I saw it. It was made for TV. So it wasn't as bad. I started watching it when I was babysitting, of course, because I that's when I always watched things. I knew I wouldn't be allowed to watch at home. And I only watched the first half and still it scarred me. So yeah, I have a big like no Stephen King, <laughs> but I did read 11, 22, 63 and I liked it. So, oh, that was a long story time. Hamnet is so good. So everybody says Andy, but for some reason I still, I don't know. I'm still intimidated by it. Got to the last chapter of Franklin time. Need to finish before let me take us back in an hour. Okay. Go away. Christy, just go finish it. <laughs> Haven't read this Anne book since I was a child. The middle part got sad, but I think it will be happier from here on out. Yeah, there's some heart touching parts in those books. No idea what it was about before starting it. I think your love of historical fiction will make you love it. I hope so. I'm hopeful, but I have low expectations. I feel like it's going to be too literary and I'm going to be bored. I think it's going to go over my head. That's like the idea I have in my mind about it. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, The Shining was terrifying. Oh, yeah. Fairy Tale his is one his newest, isn't it? And that, I don't even know what that's about, but I don't know. His nonfiction is wonderful. Okay, interesting. You will not like Under the Dome. Book is way worse from the start. Cleaned up for the show. Okay. That's good to know. I'll probably just unhaul <laughs> Under the Dome. <laughs> yeah, Under the Dome was not good. Cujo was my first king, age 12, and I loved it. Oh my word. <laughs> Intrigued by fairy tale. Oh, and the shining, but I'm a baby. It is an absolute no. Yeah. <laughs> Rode like that on vacation in our station wagon too. Oh man, we used to love like trying to get the truckers to pull their horn, like honk their horn. Oh man. Cujo is so sad. Definitely going to go back and watch that hour of you I missed. Aw, thanks. <laughs> good night, Cassie. Hope you have a good week of reading as well. Needful Things by Stephen King. It's also not, it's not scary. I don't, I'm not familiar with that one, Needful Things. I don't know. I loved Fairy Tale as well. Dolores Claiborne is also not super scary. Oh, what's the other movie I saw? Um, Mer Mercy? Mercy. Is that what it's called? I think it's not Mer. It's something that starts with M. Misery. Misery. That's the one. Um, I read The Stand in High School for English class. Definitely my favorite of his books. Okay, interesting. Just finished Fairy Tale. Not a bad one. A boy goes on a quest in a fairy tale land to save a dog. Aw. <laughs> But it's King. So it's going to have some twisty twists in there, I'm sure. We are just about to start the last sprint. 
Sorry. <laughs> That's thank you. I'm I've decided I'm gonna take it right off my shelves, which is great because it's a chunker. It will give me more room. Where is it even? Yeah, it's right back in the corner. It's that one right there in the corner. Yeah, I'll I'll lose it. I just actually posted some new some books on Pango today. I'll, maybe I'll put that one on there too. All right, let's go ahead. This is going to be our last sprint. It's 10.15. Let's just do a full half hour. We'll go till 10.45 or till 45. And and then that'll be it because I'm going to need to get ready for bed. Oops. Let's see. No, I, I do sprints every other week, Christy. So I do like sprints one week and then a vlog the next week. So I, I alternate those two things every other weekend. Um, and I alternate, not alternate, but sometimes I do Saturday night. Sometimes I do Sunday. More often I do them on Sunday nights, but occasionally on a Saturday, just depending on what's going on. Um, but yeah, every other week for me. So that is that. No, I, well, I start at uh, 7.30, usually my time Eastern. Good night, Andrea. All right. Last sprinty sprint. Get those books finished.
right, my friends. It's time to wrap things up. I did scroll for a few minutes, <laughs> but then I read chapter three of, no, chapter two of The Maid. So I'm, I'm really enjoying it so far. 34 pages in and just kind of getting to know some of the different people in the hotel and Molly, Molly the Maid. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. But thanks for coming to hang out with me tonight. And hopefully you got some good reading in. I'm glad I got the dishes done and my clothes put away. <laughs> yeah, it was a good, it was a good night. Um, Eastern time as well. Just keep missing the start. Oh no, that's weird. <laughs> I wonder why it shows that. Heading to bed, I'm assuming. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Having to read in bed. There you go. Have a good night, Amy. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. 33%. Yay. You are so welcome. Thanks guys for hanging out and just spending time with me tonight. There's an adult in my soup. All about remaining childlike. Well, that sounds fun. Finished the first chapter of Hamnet. So far, so good. Love it. Awesome. Well, I'm hopefully this week going to have up for you a video about my library. I'm hoping to have that done. And a goal check-in. I'm going to check in with quarter one. How are my goals going? And a non-World War II historical fiction recommendations video, like Shelf Spotlight. It's been a couple years since I've done one, so I'm not including any of the ones from the first one time I did that, but um, I just have a, I've pulled a whole ton of books and they're just sitting here on the floor in this room. So I'm like, I need to film that so I can get that up. So those are some videos that are hopefully coming your way soon. If you ever have ideas of things that you want to see from me, let me know, but I will be headed out and I'll have time this week to film because I have Tuesday, Thursday and Friday mornings back to myself. <laughs> But yeah, um, that's going to be it for tonight. Let's see what you guys did. 47. Have a great week, you two cats. Love this corner of the internet. Me too, Kathleen. It's my favorite place. <laughs> About halfway done with everyone here is lying. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, see you guys back here in a couple of weeks. Less than 20 pages left. Oh man, you can finish tonight. Go for it. <laughs> thanks Krista got great reading lots of perfect bookish things oops bookish things to post thanks for sprints perfect love it all right you guys are awesome and I will talk to you soon hope you have a good week happy reading everyone